Hey, hey guys doing? This is Michael Fallon. I'm here right now about to interview Peter Shinkoda, actor extraordinaire. He's been in multiple franchises, multiple sci-fi classics. Uh, right now we're just going to ask him a couple of questions. Uh, so what were your thoughts on working on Daredevil for Netflix? My thoughts, uh, I was grateful, first of all, for getting the job. Uh, once I showed up there, um, it was fantasy-like. I mean, uh, we've discussed this before, I'm a massive Daredevil fan. Um, I'm standing there in costume, facing off against Charlie Cox, aka Daredevil, and uh, you know, there's a few moments where they'd have to yell action twice because I was beside myself, like, action, right, because I was actually living in a comic that I, uh, that I obsessed over since I was a child, so it, it was just an amazing experience. Um, everybody should try it. So how did you get the part of Dare, for, for Daredevil uh, as Nobu? Through the normal channels, I have a manager uh, and an agent as uh, reps, and they brought the material uh, to me. But it was it was it wasn't Daredevil at the time. It had uh, it had an alias uh, production name. It was called um, Bluff. Bluff. And um, after reading the material, I uh, I, kind of, I concluded to myself that it was uh, you know the Wesley character talking to to Foggy Nelson and to to Matt Murdock. Yeah. Um, and I, I put it together, and I, and I also had known that uh, just a couple months before, Marvel had signed a, a five uh, TV show deal with Netflix. So, you know, through deliberation, I found out it was Daredevil, um, and I was very excited. So I read for uh, I read for it three times on tape, and they were submitted to New York, but they're all different roles. And eventually, I was hired, and. Um, for a while, I didn't know my role was what it turned out to be until maybe a couple days before shooting. I didn't know. I didn't know. So I was kind of in the dark. As you know, Marvel is very um, secretive about their productions, uh, and that carries on th th through, the, through the cast. I mean, a lot of the cast do not even get full scripts. Um, so it's, it was pretty tough with, with all that secrecy, but uh, you know, knowing that you're working on a project backed by Marvel, I mean, it's just it's exhilarating. It's huge. I mean, I'd love to be on a CSI, but uh, I have to admit that since I was a child, I'd, I'd, I'd fantasized, dreamed, aspired to be on something uh, something in, in the Marvel Universe, absolutely. But of course, as a kid, they weren't coming out that uh, that much. There weren't that many um, superhero shows other than, you know, the live-action Hulk or the, the Spider-Mans from the 70s. Yeah. But uh, certainly in... in, in, in in my imagination, in my fantasy imagination, yeah, I would come to Hollywood and I would get to work on a superhero show. Things have turned out well. I'm very, uh, very appreciative to be uh, in the place that I am in my career. Okay. Yeah, and then just looking back on everything you've done, I mean, how does it feel to know that, that, that you left a big mark, especially in the sci-fi genre, with everything you've done from Falling Skies to iRobot and Netflix? Um, I feel that, uh, you know, I'm fortunate to have all that work, but uh, again, uh, being who I am, Asian, a lot of the time, it's, it's not about my, uh, you know, great ability as an actor, it's about uh, where I fit in and, and what genres and what stories, so it turns out as an Asian male, I'm always going to be, uh, you know, uh, uh, there'll be, um, I'll always be favored to work in, in, in those genres, uh, uh, sci-fi, superhero genres, um, anything to do with the future, <laughs> so it turns out that, yeah, I do... I get cast in a lot of these these kinds of uh, these kinds of shows, and I love it. Being you know, I think superhero, the superhero genre and action thriller genre is my favorite genre since I was a child. Of course, I want to go out and do a Shakespeare and win an Emmy yeah. or something, but uh, uh, definitely, definitely, I, I would gravitate towards this kind of material, and I'm happy to to have to, to contribute to a lot of it. So, I mean, it gives me the opportunity to come out and meet all these these amazing people at the cons, which is. Uh, uh, you know, it's a favorite thing of mine to do since I was a kid. I, I've been going to cons in little custodial closets in Montreal since <laughs> since the 80s. So um, I love being here. If I wasn't here, I'd be w probably watching Blade Runner for the 30th time, you know, at home right now. Plus so the sequel coming out next year. Denis Villeneuve from Montreal. I would love to be in Blade Runner sequel. There's still time. Yeah. You know what? I should write to him. Basically. I should write to him. It's the future. It's robotic. Yeah. I'm in the sci-fi world already. He's from Montreal. I'm from Montreal. Let's make it happen. We'll see. Thank you, Peter. We appreciate your time and everything. I love talking uh, to you, uh, Mike, uh, on social media here or, know. On, you know. Peter's, on, on Peter's one of the most genuine people I've ever met in the, in the industry. And he doesn't know me too well. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, it's Mike and this is Peter. Thank you, guys.